Hi, Geminis. This is your November 2019 love and relationship reading. Now, the first message card I have for you is actually a jumping card, and it is repeated cycles, okay? So when I was meditating over the cards and shuffling for you, which took longer than normal, so I feel like you guys have some heavy energy that you're going through or that you're trying to work through, and you haven't had any luck, okay? Um, we also have, like with this repeated cycles card, is there something that you continuously go through that you feel like you need to stop, make a decision on it, and just move forward for good? It's like there's something here that you keep going through um, with a partner, with this repeated cycles card, and it's because you're not making a decision on whatever it is, Gemini. Okay, so that was a jumping card that came out for you. You also have wisdom, wake up call, time to move in a new direction, 555. 555 is all about changes, new things that are coming into your life. Do not block your blessings, Gemini, okay? If the universe is trying to bring something in, but you're constantly questioning um, what it is and you're holding yourself back, you're being stagnant in your energy, the way you think, the way you feel about things. Like for example, you could be saying to yourself one day, you know what, I'm tired of this. It's time for me to move on. It's time for me to do something different. I don't like the way I'm being treated. And then the next day you're like, you know, maybe I should just stay because, you know, this could happen or that could happen. The universe is saying the change that is coming in for you is going to come regardless. Okay, so now it's time for you to jump on board with whatever that change is because it's coming for you. Okay. And whatever it is, this card is not in the reverse. So I feel like the direction that the universe and spirit is trying to move you in is going to be positive. But you just got, you have to jump on board because I feel just with shuffling the cards for you guys, I felt a lot of indecisiveness and just someone who feels stuck. So you have challenging and you have sacred union. Okay, so I feel like you're going through some challenging times. Let me just pick this card back up. You're going through some challenging times with a love partner. For some of you, this could be a marriage. Okay, this is a general reading. So it may or may not resonate with your situation. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But for some of you, the, the situation that you're in is very challenging and you want to be with this person, but I feel like you're losing hope. It's like you're losing hope that this is going to work out the way you want and need it to. It can work, but the way it's working now, I feel like there's a disagreement there. You don't like it. It's either you don't like the way it's working now or your partner don't like it. Someone is having a challenging time with this sacred union. It could be the both of you. Maybe the both of you need to have a conversation about what you want, what you need, and what you expect from each other. Because I'm feeling like the situation, whether it's marriage or just a, a relationship, I feel like there's a huge disagreement about the way you guys see love or the way you think something should be. And that's the challenging. I don't feel like the challenging factor is whether you care about each other. For some of you, it could be, okay? But I don't see third party in here yet. And I say yet because we haven't gotten into the tarot cards yet. But I'm just feeling like there is love here, but there's challenge. It's challenging times the way something is being done. So obviously, you guys don't agree on the way things are. We have hourglass, time is slipping. We have door, transition. And we have pessimism, cynical. Okay, so some of you could be, even be drinking, do, you know, doing some heavy drinking or just, um, you know, could be doing drugs. I don't want to judge anybody. I mean, if that's what you're doing, if that's what's getting you through, you know, the hard time that you're going through, so be it. I'm not here to judge. But that's what I see happening here. And you know that the time is slipping away that you need to make a, a decision about something, okay? Also, I'm seeing with the hourglass, time is slipping and the door transition, some of you may not be talking to someone, okay? You may have cut this person off. Someone could have ghosted you. They could have walked away or just cut all communication or all ties. And some of you are really distraught 
over this situation and you've been doing some heavy drinking because this is what's getting you through your days or so you feel, okay? But you know, at the end of the day, like when this drink wears off, time is slipping away and you have to make a decision about whether you're gonna stay in the situation, um, whether you're gonna move on, uh, whether you're going to try to take this person back and, and work on the situation or whether you feel like it's hopeless and there's nothing else here for you guys. Like there is a decision that has to be made because if not, if you don't get on board and make this decision, Gemini, the universe is going to make it for you. And if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner if they're cross watching, but someone has to make a decision about what they want to do. If you don't want to be in it anymore then walk away from it if you feel like it's hopeless and it's not going to work for you walk away from it okay but if you feel like you want to work on it then you have to make that decision as well a decision has to be made and that's what the hourglass time is slipping away is saying okay all right so let's get into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about your love life and i'll just leave these cards out in case we need to refer back to them all right so there was another jumping card that came out for you, which is the Magician. So this is the Gemini card, okay? So you did pull your energy this month, Gemini. Um, and this is saying that you're trying to manifest something, okay? You see the infinity sign over this guy's head. It's like there's something that you're trying to work out, but I feel like you're taking your time doing it or there's something behind the scenes that's going to manifest for you because this is a major arcana, okay? So... Whenever you have major arcanas, you can't manipulate this situation. It is what it is, and it's coming in the way it's coming in. So whatever type of manifestation it is, it is positive because the card is not reversed, okay? So it's either you're trying to manifest something, your partner could be trying to manifest something, maybe the universe is manifesting something for you, but whatever it is, is coming in for you, and the universe is telling you that you have everything you need to move yourself forward. You have everything you need to work this out, whatever it is, okay? All right, so the first card that we have for you is the Three of Swords. So there was some heartbreak, some sadness, and some pain and disappointment. We have the Five of Wands here, and we also have the Nine of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign such as yourself, uh, another Gemini or a Libra or Aquarius. And then we also have fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Now, these cards doesn't mean that that's the sign that you're dealing with. If you're not dealing with that zodiac sign, there was some disappointment and heartbreak in your life and there is still, um, I can't even get the word out there is still conflict about it, okay? You haven't figured things out. You're still conflicted. This could be internally because if you're not arguing or fighting with your partner, you guys, you know, may not be speaking and you just conflicted, you know, internally and you're trying to figure out, like, what do I do about this heartbreak, this sadness and this disappointment, okay? What are my choices? How do I handle it? How do I combat the situation? Because there is conflict here. Also, with the Nine of Wands, you feel like it's like you're in a guarded state right now. You're not letting anyone get close to you. You're not letting anyone talk to you. You're not talking to anyone. You don't want to talk about the situation. You don't want to be bothered with it. You just want to push it away and live life. And I get it. <laughs> Trust me. Like, that's the energy that's coming up for you. But, you know, going back to the message card that came out for you, five 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 you're being pushed in a new direction and you're being told that you have to deal with this situation you can't get around it so whatever choice that you're going to make with it that's fine you know let that choice be you know your choice in the end don't let anyone persuade you into anything but a choice needs to be made here because you're going to stay stuck in the five of wands energy and the nine of wands energy because of what happened to you and whatever it was it was heavy it was major. So you have the Seven of Cups. You have the King of Wands. Some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this person left you out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Okay? 
earth energy here too. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for some of you. Um, you're trying to figure out what decision is best for you. What option is best for you. For some of you, you could have more than one option here as well. And you may be trying to think like, do I go with this new person that's promising me love, that's promising me, you know, good things, or do I stay where I am? Even though where you are really hasn't worked out for you because this is all you see is the heartbreak, the sadness, and the disappointment. So it's hard for you to try and make this decision. And I feel like some of you are dragging your feet with this seven of cups because you're looking at each cup here and each cup here displays something different and you're like i can't make a choice we have the king of wands here so like i said some of you could be dealing with a masculine fire sign aries leo sagittarius and you feel like this person is the reason why you're sitting in the seven of cups energy because they may have left you out in the cold with the five of pentacles energy. So you have the nine of swords. You have the ten of cups. And you have the eight of pentacles in the reverse here. So for some of you, you want the ten of cups with this person. You want this family. You want this... Um, You want this fulfillment, okay? But you just feel like it's hopeless. Like you you just, with the Nine of Swords, you don't believe in it anymore. I feel like some of you gave up on a family situation or you gave up on a relationship working out because you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups, and then you have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is all about fear, worry, anxiety, thinking the worst, fearing the worst, overanalyzing the situation. And the Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. So this is what you want. But the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. So did some of you give up on this and you're like, you know what, I'm not working on this shit no more. <laughs> you're like, I, I can't. Some of you are saying to yourself, I cannot, sorry about the siren, there's sirens in the background. Some of you are saying to yourself, look at this, look at the nine of swords. Some of you are like, listen, I cannot do this anymore. Yes, I want the ten of cups, but I'm not going to continue to feel like the nine of swords in order to get it. Because you feel like it's just not working out the way you either planned it, imagined it, or wanted. And with the Eight of Pentacles being in reverse, this is someone who was working hard. Like if I flip this card around in the upright, this is someone who was working hard on it, whether they were saying it or not. They may not have been saying they were working hard on it, but they were. But you got it in a reverse, Gemini's. So it's like what you were working so hard on, or if this is not you feeling this way, it could be your partner, what you were working so hard on, you're no longer giving a damn about it. You're like, you know what? I don't care if I have it or not. Because obviously the person that you're with, it's like they're either not being a team player, it, there's either a third party situation they put you in, or they're either in and out of your life. It's like I'm hearing spirits say somebody's running in and out. They don't know what they want. They're telling you one thing. They're doing another. And you're just like, you know what? I'm not I'm not dealing with it anymore. Some of you are just, you know, you don't want to deal with it anymore. Especially if it's going to be, if it's going to be like this with the three of swords, you don't want it. Okay. So you have the Ten of Swords. You have the Devil. And you have the Seven of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn and you feel like this person betrayed you and they stabbed you in the back. They took you for granted and they did not appreciate what you had to offer or what you brought into the marriage or the relationship. Somebody just did not. And if it's not a Capricorn, because this is the Capricorn card, because this is the devil energy. If it's not a Capricorn that you're dealing with, it could just be a toxic person 
who did not appreciate you. This person was very toxic. They brought a lot of drama. Um, they brought a lot, lot of third parties. I feel like more than one third party they could have brought into your life. It could have been multiple people they were dealing with. Um, addictions, temptations, just, you know, wanting other things outside of the relationship or the marriage. And you're like, you know, and you're like, no, absolutely not. This person was being sneaky. It was like they were sneaking off to do something with someone else, but then they expected you to stay and wait on them. Do you see how this lady is holding on to this sword? And do you see how this guy is sneaking off with all these swords in his hand? So some of you could have been dealing with a partner who had multiple people. And then he's sneaking off and he's walking in one direction, but he's looking back in the other direction. So it was like, you stay here, <laughs> okay? You don't go anywhere, but I'm gonna sneak off and I'm gonna deal with this person, that person, and that person, and then I'll come back to you. And some of you were like, no the hell you ain't. Some of you are like, no, no, you won't. Sorry, but not sorry. And you feel like this person left you like this with the Ten of Swords. But it's all right because you're going to come out of it. You're going to come out of it. The universe is saying you're coming out of it, Gemini's. The universe is telling you there is a wake-up call. It's time to move in a new direction. You do not have to stay stuck in this situation, okay? Yeah, so you have the Eight of Cups here. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you also have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups. Wow. Okay. Either someone is regretting how they treated you with this Five of Cups here. Someone is regretting you walking away. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, Gemini, it's like if this person wants to tell you something, but they can't tell you because they may, they may feel like it's going to further incriminate them. <laughs> I don't know what this. Like I'm not laughing at your situation. I promise you, I'm not. But with the crime scene of the Five of Cups, and then the Eight of Cups, and then the Ace of Swords, it's like somebody wants to talk about something, but they may feel like you don't even want to hear it. Because you're still in the Five of Cups energy. You're not able to get over, sorry about the glare. You're not able to get over whatever it is that this person did to you. So it's like you're walking away in search of these other two cups with the Eight of Cups here. And you're like, it got to be something better out there for me. You know, you're like, I'm not going to just stay here and deal with this. But with the Ace of Swords in reverse, some of you may be waiting to hear a sorry, um, a sincere apology, or something. And if you're you're like, okay, if somebody wants to sit in their ego and give me nothing, well, I'm going to give you nothing, and then we both can go our separate ways and enjoy your life. Because that's the way the cards are coming up here. Because some of you, with this five of cups, you're like, no, the crime that you committed, <laughs> the crime that you committed was too much to bear and i feel like for some of you like i'm hearing spirit say that not only did they do this one thing it was like many things that this person could have possibly did to you and you're putting your foot down on something and you're like no nah. like i'm not just going we're not just going to sweep this under the rug i'm feeling like somebody wants you to sweep something under the rug gemini like they just want you to be like okay yeah it happened but let's just move on no no mm -mm. what we won't do is we won't just move on from this because i feel like that's what you guys have been doing in the past you've been moving on from something and letting someone just continuously get away with things and they have come they have become so damn comfortable that this is what they're used to doing so now that i feel like some of you require change they don't even know how to change they don't even know how to come out of the toxic they don't even know how to fight their own demons it's like they've so they're so used to screwing you over and they're so used to you taking it for some of you this is not everyone's story but i'm feeling like for some of you it is they're just so used to you taking it that now that you have decided to walk away, they're like, wait, there's something I need to do about the situation, but I don't even know what to do about the situation with the Ace of Swords in reverse because they need to take action on something and they're not doing it. They need to talk about something. They need to open up about something and they're not doing it. They could be sitting in their ego. Now we do have 
the Hierophant here. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. We have the Moon card. So we also have Pisces. We have two major arcanas in a row here. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so some of you could live at a distance from this person. Um, you know, this could be an internet relationship for some of you. Whatever it is. But I feel like the communication is next to none. If at all. It's like you're not talking to this person because... For one, they were being secretive about the situation and they wasn't being open. They wasn't being honest. They were keeping things in the dark. And I feel like for some of you, you were finding out things a little at a time and you were like putting the story together and you were piecing things together and you were like, I'll be damn like they got a whole nerve to be doing all of this. And I'm over here trying to have a relationship or a family or, you know, whatever you're trying to have with this person and they're out in moon energy leaving things in the dark just you know doing whatever they wanted to do so for some of you this could be a marriage because you know that is the hierophant's energy or you could be dealing with the taurus but this the hierophant is all about commitment traditions so i do feel like for some of you you still want this you just don't know if it's possible or it could be your partner who still wants this but they don't know if it's possible but I feel like no one knows if it's possible because there's no communication here. Yeah, so you have the Eight of Swords. So there's a lot of thinking. You know, some of you may feel like you're in a mental prison that you can't get out of because you have so many thoughts. You have so many things on your mind about the situation and you're trying to bring it all into perspective and it's really, really hard to do because you have a blindfold on it's like whatever it is that you need to see you don't even want to see it right now and i feel like you don't want to see it because you're angry as hell you're mad as hell at someone for something that they did to you continuously and you're thinking like okay well if you continuously did this i can't trust you i do not want you like for me loyalty and trust is like um a breaking point if there's no loyalty and I can't trust you, then my question is like, what the hell are we doing? And I feel like some of you are in that energy. It's like, I don't, like, we can't do anything with this. You know, even though, you know, you might care for the person and the person may care for you. You're like, what, like, what can we do with this? Because there's no trust. There's no loyalty. So like, how are we going to even do anything? And that's why I feel like the blindfold is on here like you can't even really see where to go with the situation and i feel like a lot of you are up in your head about it it's like you want to move forward with the chariot and you want to steer this situation in the right direction but you're just not sure which direction to take it in yes yeah, so you have the two of pentacles here some of you could be dealing with an earth sign we have virgo taurus capricorn here and we also have cancer Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the cancer because of the chariot, but I feel like you're really stuck. You don't know where to go with this. You have the two of wands here. Okay, so there's a decision, you know, you're very indecisive. There's a decision for some of you. You need to make a decision about two people. You have two people to choose from and you don't know which one to take because you don't know, you know, which one is going to be the better person for you. You have the four of cups. Yeah, you have the Two of Swords. Some of you definitely have a choice between two people. And I feel like for someone out there, you have a choice between two people, but you're not taking any, like you, some of you are still focused on a third party situation. Somebody is trying to offer you love. Or they're trying to offer you some emotions or their attention. And you're like, I don't know. I, I can't make a decision right now because you're still focused on what you think you should have or what you think may be good for you and it may not be so you may be missing an opportunity because the four of cups is all about a missed opportunity so maybe you you're thinking like what is good for you and that's what you're focused on it may not be okay so keep that in mind um gemini's or cross watchers so yeah like it's a decision that you need to make I feel like for some of you, it's two people here. And you're just not sure which direction to go in. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Gemini's. I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. Thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading. I really appreciate it. Like, 
comment subscribe share the video let me know what you guys are going through out there also you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie tarot i'm also on instant go so if you have a question you can reach out to me there and i will see you guys next month bye